Hi, this is Norman from GuyTechie.com. In this video, I will show you how to reinstall Windows 7. So the first thing first, uh, as I stated in my write-up, uh, you will want to boot off of the or DVD-ROM drive uh, where you have your Windows 7 disk. Um, to get to this boot menu, it's different for every machine. You will have to refer to your manufacturer, um, you know, to um, to find out which key gets to this boot menu. So you may even you can even use Google to find out. So we're going to go ahead and go to CD-ROM. Yes, we want to push any key to uh, boot off of CD. I had to do it quick because otherwise, uh, if you let it go, it will continue booting up into your hard drive, um, which will have your old install of Windows, and we don't want to do that. We actually want to uh, blow it away, nuke it, in a sense. Learn the logo. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, you'll get sick of it af after a while. Okay. Now, this is the screen that you will first see once you when you boot off the DVD. Um, it's pretty straightforward. If you're that geeky, click on Next. <laughs> Can't get any simpler than this. You can just click on Install now, and you'll just go. We're going to actually go ahead and install from scratch. Okay, so come to the uh, Microsoft licensing terms. But for our purpose, we'll just click on Accept, because you have to accept it to be able to continue anyways. And, of course, uh, it recognizes that you have a current installer of Windows, and you can upgrade this this current one that we already have on our hard drive. But, no, again, like I said, we're going to do a custom advanced install, which will allow us to blow away the a hard drive and start over from scratch. And as you can see, this is the this hard drive already has Windows already installed. Um, not completely, of course. Um, you can see we have lots of free space. Um, so let me show you. This is basically the system reserved uh, partition. It's a really small partition that lets Windows 7 boot up. And this is the main partition for Windows 7. And your data and your program files are all stored in here. Either way, what we want to do is blow them away. So we're going to nuke it. Go to Drive Options, Advanced. We're going to delete this. Yes, we're going to agree to that. Yeah, it basically warns you, so you click on OK. That deletes that. And we're going to, we're going to also delete the system reserved. Click o Delete and click OK. And now, as you can see, you have the whole hard drive unallocated. Now, you may have other partitions, um, maybe data and whatnot, and you may not want to blow those away because that's where you store all your stuff. But if you followed my guide, all of your stuff should be on an external drive or a DVD or basically somewhere that's not in your computer anymore. So it should more or less look like this, one big empty hard drive. This is the easiest way of doing it. Just click on Next on the whole hard drive unallocated space and install will just continue. This will take a while, so we're going to fast forward through all this. Okay, it's done, and so now it's restarting. We can just hit restart now or just wait until the uh, countdown counts down to zero. And we're back to this screen. As you can see, it's not completely done installing yet, but it's almost there. Is 
is now rebooting yet again. Don't worry, it happens a couple times before it's finished. Basically, it's asking you for a username. Uh, this is what you're going to be using to sign into the computer. Or basically, if you're going to be the only person there, it's going to be it's going to give you a nice little name on your plaque of your on your start menu. Of course, there are some characters that are not allowed in this. I try to click, uh, hit a space, and it'll tell you why it's not working. Here you can set up a password. Uh, you have to type it once, twice, and a password hint. Now over here, it's going to be asking you um, about uh, setting up um, your Windows updates, and I would normally always use use recommended settings. So let's do that. Your time zone. Kind of straightforward. Uh, I automatically adjust for clock for daylight saving times to allow you to, well, exactly what it says. So if your time is and date is wrong, just correct it. Mine's okay, so I'm going to click next. Here is where I ask you what network you're connected to, whether this is a home network, a work network, or a public network. Um, it kind of makes sense already. Basically, if you're, all, if you're a home network, you want to choose home. If you're going to use this computer at work, uh, you want to choose work. And a public network is if you are right now currently connected to a Starbucks or, or a, uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot that is basically not yours. Descriptions are pretty straightforward. Right now, I'm actually at work, so. And this will finalize the settings. Okay, so as you can see, this is your brand new Windows 7 install, your brand new desktop, and already it is looking to get updates already, so let's take a look at that by double clicking on it. Uh, looks like it's hidden, oh, it's coming up now. So this is done. We're going to go ahead and restart now. And as you're rebooting, it looks like it's still doing uh, updates. As you can see, it takes a while for Windows uh, to come back up after an update, so be patient. Because you got to remember, there's a lot of updates to install, especially if you're coming from a fresh install of Windows. All right, and we're back at the desktop. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, please visit me at www.guytiki.com.